Hello and welcome. It's so nice to see you joined me. In this lesson, we'll be looking at how to create a music worksheet in Canva for music teachers just like you. This lesson is from the course Creating Music with Canva. I will leave a link in the description box below for more details. If we haven't met before, I'm Monte Monique. I'm a multi-passionate certified K-12 music teacher. My first passion is providing music printables and resources for music creatives just like you. And my second passion is helping music teachers easily transition to teaching group piano lessons online. Don't forget to snag your free 100-day practice challenge. I'll leave a link below in the description box. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you won't miss a lesson. So if you're ready, let's get started. We're inside Canva and the first place you want to start is create a design. The custom size that I like to work with, and remember we're creating this absolutely from scratch, is eight and a half by 11 inches. Now I want to show you a worksheet that I've already created so you have an idea of what we're going to create together. This is absolutely completely from scratch, and you can do this in the free account in Canva. The first thing we're gonna do is we're going to add a page, go to Elements, and remember this is how to create a music worksheet in Canva for music teachers. We're going to type in Table, And I'm actually just going to click on the first table and you will see it will pop up and appear in your blank sheet. And then at the very top, you'll see a little border. And if you want to change the color, you can click on the border color, document colors. If you want to change different parts of the table, you can't, but I suggest just to keep it black and simple. Going back to the table, make sure everything is the way we want it. Don't forget if you want to change the table spacing, you can. This is adjustable. If you want a little space between each box, we're going to leave that just as it is though. Cell spacing as well, you can change that. I'm going to leave it at 13. So we have our box and this is where our music samples are going to live. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to type a few directions. And if you click T, you'll see that text automatically pops up. Let me zoom in here for you so you can see a little bit closer what I'm doing. I'm going to type in name, colon, and then I'm just gonna put some dots underneath. And I'm going to line that up here at the top. And then to make it simple, I'm going to Command D for duplicate, and then I'll change this to date. And we'll pop that over into the left-hand corner. Now to get started with our chart here, let's give some directions. Again, we'll do Command D just to keep it simple. We'll go Command A, and then we're going to say cut and paste and let's look at the directions we had up here the music notes into the correct box above the correct music notes in to the box above you can put any directions here obviously so that is what we'll do. And I like to make the directions a little bit larger. So I'm just going up to the top bar and I like to put them in a slightly larger font. And we can even have that go across the entire page if we like. And let's move that so it's to the left margin and then a period. So now we have the name, the date for our music students and the directions. So here we have the box. Now, before we start adding other elements, we're actually going to make a copy first. So let's highlight the table and we'll say Command D. So that just makes a copy for us. And we're gonna just drag that down here. And this will all make sense in just a second. We're gonna drag this down, but we're actually gonna make it smaller because the element, the music elements, the notes that we add the students are going to cut out and then paste up into this box. So we're going to make this a little bit smaller. 
And then we want to add a line in between to differentiate what the prompt is and what the moving parts are going to be. So for elements, let's type in line. And I like to use this type of line. We're going to stretch that out and stretch that all the way across. And if you're wondering what these lines are on the page, just for reference, these are actually part of under file where you can um, have the margins, print and rulers and guide show. This is very helpful, especially when you're designing music worksheets in Canva for your music students. So there's the line. Now, the next thing we want to do is I'm gonna go add in an element. Now, these elements I've actually already, excuse me, in the uploads, I have bought these, purchased these, so I have the right to use these from different sources, for example, Creative Market. So make sure if you're using Canva, make sure that you have the, obtain the permission, the rights to use them. Because if you don't, then you cannot sell or share your copies freely. So at the top, I'm just actually going into uploads and I'm clicking on my purchased images. Also, they have images in Canva, but uh, it just depends on what your preference is. And I simply, I'm just putting these notes inside these boxes here. So as you can see, eventually what our students will be doing is they're going to go down here and they're actually going to be cutting and pasting these notes to match what lives underneath these notes. So now that we have the main prompt finished, what we'll do is we'll go in and we're actually going to copy these notes here. So I'm going to highlight and I'm going to press shift. So I'm copying all these notes and I'm going to press command D. And then we're going to take these down. We're going to take these notes down here with us, drag them down. Um, it's not letting me drag down because of the table, but that's no problem. Drag these down. And then what we'll do is we're actually going to make them smaller so they'll fit in these boxes. So let's make sure that these are, that they'll fit. And let's move our table back down. And then what we'll do here is we will set these inside of these boxes. Now remember, your music students are going to be cutting and then pasting to match underneath the quarter note, the eighth note, and the half note. So the one of the last steps that we need to do is we're going to mix these up in this box down here. So what we'll do is we'll uh, click on the half note, Command D, we'll put a half note there, and then we'll put a quarter note next. And you can mix this up as much or as little as you like. It depends on what level you're creating this for but it's pretty quick and pretty simple. And, you know, of course, you want to feel, you want your students to feel as if they're um, accomplishing something. So you want to make it fun, but at the same time also, is this, this is a great way for you to test what your students know. And we'll put a half note there and we'll put a quarter note down here. And we're so close to being finished. And they don't even have to be even. Actually, let's put a, yeah, we'll put another, half note there. Okay, so now they have all these notes that they get to cut and then paste up here. But in order to, what I like to do is I like to put a little background and a little image behind this so it really highlights what they're doing. So we're going to go into elements and we're going to simply click on square. And with square, we're going to just click on that. Now we're going to change this color. So don't worry about the color and we're going to send it to the back. So we'll make that a little bit smaller. And I like to make this just a slightly lighter color, like a gray. And then we're going to push that to the back. And you can see here that the students will be able then to see exactly the notes that they're supposed to do more clearly. And let's also add, I like to add in little um, elements just for fun. You don't have to do this. This is just a little quick extra step, but my kids, they love this stuff. So we're going to add a little figure. And again, I've purchased this, purchased this off 
a public market. I've paid for these images. You have to be careful when you're using Canva, you can only um, use the free images. So that is our little image there. And then let's just go back and check and make sure that we have everything that we need. We have the name, date. You can even put class if you're teaching uh, in a larger setting. Uh, you can put level, whatever you need to, to put here and there. We have the directions, cut and paste the correct music notes into the box above. We have our sample here. We have our division line. We can bring that down just a little bit. We have the music uh, prompts that they're going to be cutting and pasting, and we have our little cute figure. So let's zoom out and see how that looks. And I think that this is going to be a winner. So that is an easy way to create a music worksheet in Canva for music teachers. Ready to take your technique to the next level? For more info, click here or copy and paste this link into your browser. Join us in the Easy Play Piano Club for weekly live lessons. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next lesson. For more music videos, subscribe to Move Over Mozart.